In our daily lives, even Christians may experience hurt and harbor resentment due to misunderstandings and conflicts with others. However, the true strength of a believer is not in retaliation, but in understanding and forgiveness. This understanding and the ability to forgive are keys to a fulfilling life. When we find our hearts filled with resentment, let's recall the words of Scripture, as it is written, When you bear a grudge, Lord, how often shall my brother sin against me? And I forgive him, until seven times. Jesus said to him, I don't tell you until seven times, but until seventy times seven. If therefore you are offering your gift at the altar, and there remember that your brother has anything against you, leave your gift there before the altar, and go your way. First, be reconciled to your brother, and then come and offer your gift. For if you forgive men their trespasses, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. But if you don't forgive men their trespasses, neither will your Father forgive your trespasses. Bearing with one another, and forgiving each other, if any man has a complaint against any, even as Christ forgave you, so you also do. Whenever you stand praying, forgive, if you have anything against anyone, so that your Father, who is in heaven, may also forgive you your transgressions. But if you do not forgive, neither will your Father in heaven forgive your transgressions. Agree with your adversary quickly, while you are with him on the way, lest perhaps the prosecutor deliver you to the judge, and the judge deliver you to the officer, and you be cast into prison. Most certainly I tell you, you shall by no means get out of there, until you have paid the last penny. So my heavenly Father will also do to you, if you don't each forgive your brother from your hearts, for his misdeeds. I will wash my hands in innocence, so I will go about your altar, your way, that I may make the voice of thanksgiving to be heard and tell of all your wondrous deeds. When a man's ways please your way, he makes even his enemies to be at peace with him. Blessed are those who keep his statutes, who seek him with their whole heart. Don't judge, and you won't be judged, don't condemn, and you won't be condemned, set free, and you will be set free. Put on therefore, as God's elect, holy and beloved, a heart of compassion, kindness, lowliness, humility, and perseverance. Don't rejoice when your enemy falls, don't let your heart be glad when he is overthrown, lest Yahweh see it, and it displease him, and he turn away his wrath from him. Have salt in yourselves, and be at peace with one another. Therefore, if your enemy is hungry, feed him. If he is thirsty, give him a drink, for in doing so, you will heap coals of fire on his head. Don't be overcome by evil, but overcome evil with good. For evildoers shall be cut off, but those who wait for your way shall inherit the land. Give thanks to your way, for he is good, for his loving kindness endures forever. A malicious man disguises himself with his lips, but he harbors evil in his heart. A brother offended is more difficult than a fortified city. Disputes are like the bars of a fortress. You shall not hate your brother in your heart. But he who hates his brother is in the darkness, and walks in the darkness, and doesn't know where he is going, because the darkness has blinded his eyes. Whoever hates his brother is a murderer, and you know that no murderer has eternal life remaining in him. Be careful. If your brother sins against you, rebuke him. If he repents, forgive him. If he sins against you seven times in the day, and seven times returns, saying, I repent, you shall forgive him. See how good and how pleasant it is for brothers to live together in unity. Don't say, I will pay back evil, wait for your heir, and he will save you. Seek your heir and his strength, seek his face forevermore. Follow after peace with all men, and the sanctification without which no man will see the Lord. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called children of God. And be kind to one another, tender-hearted, forgiving each other, just as God also in Christ forgave you. Finally, brothers, rejoice, be perfected, be comforted, be of the same mind, live in peace, 
and the God of love and peace will be with you. In this twisted and absurd era, may God's words grant you greater tolerance, releasing the resentment in your heart. Every act of forgiveness in your life will bring you peace and joy. May God bless you. Wishing you peace.